It's a pretty damn good time to be a fan of Persona. We recently got those dancing games that um, I didn't play, but more importantly we have Persona 5 Royale and Persona 5 Scramble on the horizon. Now one peek on the Atlas YouTube page and it doesn't take too much effort to see they are heavily pushing Persona 5 R right now. Like, a lot. It's rare for me to wake up and there not to be some new one minute trailer released by them. But what about Persona 5 S? During the build-up towards these games being announced, I and 90% of the Persona fanbase presumed that Persona 5 S would simply be a Switch port. It seemed more than likely as Atlas was soon to be releasing a Persona game on the 3DS, so it seemed like it was all just the right time for this PlayStation hit to make the jump, but we were all caught off guard by a game that wasn't anything like we expected really. From the beginning of the trailer, we immediately realised this wasn't just an announcement for a port, this was a whole new game with a brand new story and locations. The excitement began to grow, but then this happened. We saw the gameplay and it suddenly dawned on all of us, this wasn't an RPG. It was some type of mass beat-em-up type game like those Hyrule Warrior games. And I kind of wrote this game off as just a cash grab pretty quickly. But something changed recently. For a game that I initially thought nothing of, I'm actually way more excited for this game than Royale in nearly every way. Let's talk about it. Now it's not uncommon for Atlas to re-release their games after a few years. Most notably they did this with uh, Persona 4 with P4 Golden on the Vita, which has made me consider buying a Vita several times. Um, but Atlas seems to be a bit of a fan of going back to older projects and adding more content and re-releasing. So when the news of an upcoming announcement came out, most of us just presumed it would be something along these lines, and we were right. But it was P5S that was the real mystery. Now why am I not so interested in Royale? Well it mostly comes down to the fact that I've already played Persona 5. Twice in fact. I know the story beats and I personally really enjoy the way the story is paced and structured. Outside of a few issues and annoying areas, I consider the game to be in my top three games I've ever played. And the idea of Royale really hasn't been sold for me yet. The reason I'm not as excited is because I'm a little more worried. I'm worried about how the new implemented mechanics locations and cutscenes may pad out the experience for new players. While the pacing isn't perfect, the additional padding could really make it drag for those of us who've already played it. It really comes down to the fact that when playing Persona 5, I never felt like it was missing the elements they've added. I never felt like it was missing a grapple hook and that type of stuff. So while I'm really hopeful that they'll give the game new life and allow me to enjoy it for a third time, maybe even a fourth time, with even more stuff to do, it has the opportunity to pad out the already very long game and also may end up feeling like superficial additions to a game that may not have even needed them. But we won't know that till the final release and when we get to play it when it releases uh, for us next year. I don't want to sound like a grumpy fanboy, they might ruin my favourite game, but it is the truth, Royale has a lot to lose in this situation if it's bad. Now, why am I more interested in Persona 5S? Well, that's because it's a massive departure, and a departure I'm now kind of excited to see where it goes. Now that we officially know it's a proper sequel to Persona 5, which is something I desperately wanted after finishing 5. I wanted to see more of these characters, and now I will. I'm just really hoping we get an official English dub for the game, because that's the only way I can really see myself enjoying the time with these characters if I can hear the voices I know. I've also never played a game of this style before and it seems like a perfect place to jump into the genre for me. Also sometimes an extremely long turn based RPG just doesn't cut it and you need something a bit flashier and a bit faster paced so hopefully this will scratch that itch. Basically the reason I am more excited for Persona 5 Scramble is because since the announcement of Royale with every new trailer they've released with every bit of news I'm of course excited I'll buy it day one. But I'm also concerned that these additions may make for a worse experience and may be a disappointment for fans like me who truly adore this game. Persona 5 R has a lot to win by being good, but it also has a lot more to lose than Persona 5 S. If it isn't good, then we can just write it off as a cash grab and not think about it again. Whereas Royale has the opportunity to bring in even more fans and supporters. But it could also tarnish the Persona 5 reputation. I'm excited for Royale. 10% of me is worried, whereas I'm more happy to experiment with Scramble and see where it will go. It could be bad, but it could also be amazing. 
I hope you enjoyed that video. Remember to click just here on the little icon thingy, uh, whatever it is, to watch a uh, short video I did talking about why I love Persona 5 so much. It's a few years old now, but I spent a lot of time on it. And I think it's a really good video, and I hope you will enjoy it. Anyway, thank you always so much for watching, and I'll see you all next video. Bye-bye.